So, gentlemen, the Giants uh, somehow were to land one Des Bryant. How does one see him coexisting in that offense? I believe he coexists very well. You know, it's funny because I went home yesterday. We just got back from vacation. So I had a lot of stuff going on, and then I went and checked my phone. I'm looking at my feet. I'm like, wait, what? What? Des is mm -hmm. responding? Because it's not often that players have so many different outlets talk about them, and they pay attention to one specific hit. So one, let me say, Des Bryant, I appreciate it, uh, being a fan of yours. I'm loving the fact that you're listening to us. But the reason I brought that up is because you know, people want to assume that Des Bryant is looking for the location where he can be labeled a number one. After spending so much time, making so much money, being such a superstar with a star on your helmet, having a title means nothing. Going and playing well, having to adjust to a system where you're not the number one guy is perfectly fine. You play on a team with Odell, you got different complimentary pieces, Sterling Shepard, who was a fantastic young talent, tight end play, and maybe they get Barkley. Eli, with all these weapons, all of a sudden, you're looking at that Hall of Famer making plays within that offense. Des Bryant will fit in seamlessly, and I know people want to bring up the personality. I'll take the heart of Odell. I'll take the heart of Des Bryant. I'll take the passion that they bring to the table over a lot of duels in this league where oftentimes, whether they win or lose, you don't even know what type of emotional roller coaster you're on. So I think everything will be great within that offense. And Des Bryant's not going to care about what you label him as long as he's out there being productive. I feel like we had the same conversation with Brandon Marshall. How can he coexist? That seemed to go well. Obviously, injuries sort of mm, derailed everything. Right. But we were making a lot out of nothing with those two being able to coexist. And it's a new era in football. I think the NBA kind of took the lead with this, where you had Bosch and Wade and, Car and LeBron. And everyone's like, how's it going to work? And now you look at you've got Westbrook playing with Carmelo, playing with Devin Drew, playing George. with Paul George. Yeah. And then, obviously, what you have going on in Golden State. The NFL, though, the Rams are taking the lead, right? The Rams are like, uh. Tlaib, Peters, Sue. Right. Uh, we're going to go and get Brandon Cooks. And how's it going to coexist? Why not Odell and Dez? <laughs> Why not Odell, Dez, and Brandon Marshall, and Sterling Shepard, and Evan Ingram, and maybe Saquon Barkley, number two overall? Nothing is off the table. And the fact that Dez is tweeting that, I mean, that is the biggest mm -hmm. show of his cards of all time. Okay, mm -hmm. <laughs> it's one thing for us at this table to be talking about it and speculating. It's another thing for Ian Rapport or Adam Schefter to come out and say, I'm hearing there. No. Dez himself <laughs> is saying, you not, hit it. Not sources. Na that's you hit the nail idea. on that. That's a good idea. Na you nailed it. And if that's the case and he's willing, he knows the deal. He knows right. he's not going to be paid $15 million to play for the Giants. So if he's saying it's an idea, why not? In this mm -hmm. day and age, why not? And guess what? I'm here for it. Okay. I would love to watch it. Okay. Do I have to be the adult here? Yes. Do I have to be? Uh, show first. Yeah. first the sobering right. moment. Okay, uh, guys. You've got ink all over your face. Uh, it's crazy. I might as well. I've been doing finger painting. Um, yeah, it would be fun. Yes. <laughs> all right? It'd be Streets of Rage and Itchy and Scratchy and Harley Quinn and the Joker. It'd be fun. Yes, Nate, the X's and O's bear out. They're good players. I look at it this way. I mean, why does just, that's just go to the Rams? Just go, no, I look at it this way. This whole season for the New York football giants is about getting back under control and on the rails. Two years ago, well-oiled machine. In the offseason, guys, we already got Eli Apple and Landon Collins. We have Odell's contract. We have a new head coach. This is about we're very talented. Let's just rein it in. <laughs> Let's make it about football. Let's on the field. I love Des. Yeah. We all love Des. The dude is combustible. He's a screamer, and I love that about him. Two combustible athletes of the same position on the same team. I don't know if this is a good recipe, guys. I, we'd love to see it, yes, but we don't own the Giants. We're not even Giants fans. The, you know, the Brandon Marshall thing is a good comparison. We never really got to see it. It derailed really early. Maybe it would have gone well. Maybe it wouldn't have. Of course I want it, but guys, someone has to be the adult here. I don't, I don't know if necessarily the best recipe for long-term success, those two guys. Sorry, but hot take. you're mentioning the Rams, if they're setting some sort of precedent, it's not even, it's an arms race. If that's what they're doing, other teams are going to have to follow suit, and I'm here for that. Yeah, yeah we're all here for it. Look Listen, at the I, Chiefs. I'm, the Chiefs did the yeah, same thing. Exactly. You're Odell you and have Dez. a great team and you make it greater, but Dez is, an, is very intelligent. Yeah. Dez knows, as Brandon Marshall did, going to the New York Giants, you know Talk about what it. time it is. Yeah. You know you're not the number one. And if he knows that and he's okay with it and he's tweeting our show that, that he gets that, then yeah. I'm all for it. Listen, there's a point in your career when you're a wide receiver, when you know you're not running as fast, jumping as high. It could be injuries, could be the quarterback. You're in a situation where you think to yourself, I could have the weight of the world on my shoulders and try to carry an offense, or I can go to a team that already has guys that bring that same type of element mm. to the squad. And I feel like he's looking for that really? piece. Really? See, I don't believe, I don't know that I believe that he doesn't think that he is a 23-year-old Des Bryant. 
and that he doesn't have the world to prove, highly motivated, as Jane Slater has told mm. us. I don't know that he's resigned himself as a number two wide receiver. Not as, not as, as in touch with themselves as you are, Nate. You know what yeah. I mean? This is a different deal here. What I will say this. Dez and Odell have a history where they've talked about each other. Do you remember a couple years ago, it was Giants-Cowboys, and they were they did the jersey swapping, and they the two of them were down on the field, like, having a tickle fight. Like, they were almost, like, <laughs> playing with each other like children. Odell said afterwards, he's like a brother to me. There's oh. more of a bond than we know about, especially as rival right. teams. I remember we rolled our eyes about it at the time because we wanted them to be enemies. They are really close. So maybe there's more to it. But I don't think guys are in touch with themselves as you used to be, Nate. Yeah. Before yeah, we move know. on, how long do, is this going to be an ongoing thing, or do you think he'll sign I don't think he's going to sign before the draft, honestly, unless some team comes in and says, hey, here's a certain amount of money that you can, can sign with us and let's get going. But I think teams want to set their roster, and I think Des is going to actually assess the situation. I don't think Giants is that crazy. Mm -hmm. I don't. Now, whether Pat Shermer and John Mara <laughs> and Steve Tisch want to deal with Des and Odell and the possible combustion, Shermer's that's another So would they cut kids. Marshall then? I, maybe. Huh. Because he wouldn't add to him, Marshall and Dez. This seems like too many cooks. Right? But what they're doing with the, the Rams and the, and the Chiefs, though, like it's just yeah. depth on depth with those teams. We'll see how it shakes out. Would he be part yeah. of like a, a draft so. night trade? You Pot never know. Potentially. Mm. Ooh, we. All right.